Iska Greenfield Sanders. My methodology is very mathematical. Um, I have created a system uh, within which I work, um, and I basically examine images, uh, photographic images, through the lens of painting, and I, I break down a photographic image and rework it as a watercolor initially, and then uh, sometimes a, a line drawing. But I take it through different medium, uh, different scale changes, um, look at details of it, and then eventually work it as a multi-layered oil painting. But that system that I use uh, is sort of a rigorous um, a theorem almost, that I'm going line by line, uh, and the pieces that I make are really outputs from it, almost a mathematical system. This show will include paintings that are in extreme detail, as this piece, which is called Wave Detail. Um, and this is a single tile from a, another painting that is examined at, I'm, I'm guessing at the percentage enlargement, but let's say 1500%. Um, but it's, it's akin to taking a single tile like this and then making it a five foot enlargement. Um, so these will be hung side by side, and not as a diptych, but um, paintings that will be looking at the full panorama um, of images, you know, figures, landscape, and then something as abstract as this extreme detail. Traditionally, if you're standing in front of an oil painting, the longer you look, the more you gather information and the more firmly you feel rooted in what you're seeing. And I think the opposite might happen with mine, which is sort of what happens with memory. The longer you try and grasp at it, the farther it falls away from you. The same way that once you retell yourself a story, that becomes your version of the truth. When you take an image and you make it a monumental, large-scale painting, it imbues a certain importance upon it. You're sort of insisting upon this version of events. And I can sort of prove that to myself in that the converse of my process doesn't work. So when I look at the finished oil painting, and then I try and go backwards and re-investigate the source. So the original slide from which the painting was made, I can't even remember what I saw in it. So my own memory has been completely tricked. This is the new reality.